What happens when a star dies? Let's stare into the sky and ask the question stars never answer. They shine, they burn. But what happens when a star's life runs out? Let's ignite the journey of a dying sun. Scene one begins with life. Stars are born in clouds of gas and dust called nebulae. Gravity pulls the particles together and boom, a star is born. But like every living thing, a star has a lifespan. Small stars live for billions of years. Big stars, they burn fast and die young. Now we shift to the final act. Scene two takes us to a dying star. When a star runs out of hydrogen fuel, it starts collapsing. For a star like our sun, this collapse turns it into a red giant. It expands, swallows nearby planets, and glows with a deadly red light. But then comes silence. The outer layers drift away into space, forming a glowing shell called a planetary nebula. What's left? A white-hot core called a white dwarf, slowly cooling over billions of years. But that's just one ending. Scene three turns up the chaos. If the star is massive, it doesn't go quietly. It goes supernova. In seconds, it explodes with more power than an entire galaxy. The core collapses so hard, atoms themselves are crushed. The light from a supernova can outshine every other star in the sky. And then comes the aftermath. Scene four gives us the two most terrifying outcomes in all of space. First, the neutron star. A city-sized sphere, heavier than our sun, made entirely of neutrons. If you dropped a sugar cube of this material on Earth, it would weigh as much as a mountain. Second, the black hole. A point of no return. Not even light escapes. If a star is massive enough, its death crushes space and time into a singularity of pure darkness. Now, here's the twist. These deaths aren't just endings, they're the beginning of everything. All the gold, iron and oxygen you're made of came from a star that died. You are literally made of stardust. Death of a star, birth of everything. So the next time you see a star blink in the night sky, remember, it may be ending. Or maybe, its light is just now reaching us from a death that created something new. Every end in the cosmos is a beginning somewhere else.